Welcome Cancerians to Petrella's Intuitive Insights. This is a brief overview of July 15th to the 31st of 2020. All my sage smoke is wafting towards me now. Um, and you know, I am really more of a psychic medium and intuitive. Uh, I am not actually a card reader and I'm definitely not a tarot reader. And I say that because the tarot readers, they know how to read those cards and that is not really what I do. I could use my deck of cards to validate what I'm saying. Here it is, the love and the home here. So I would venture to say that um, surprises and love and relationship. But there is a clearing out. And when I see this wafting of the smoke, I feel that many of you Cancerians are going to be clearing out negative unwanted energies. Debt emotions that no longer serve you pertaining to love romance and relationship i feel that when it comes to moving forward you have somebody with admiration looking at you i feel that there's a surprise coming and it's dealing with love romance and relationship however that could spill also into uh career and finance which i have to tell you that with this surprise that's coming for the Cancerians, I feel that uh, abundance, I have to say uh, the feeling of great abundance. Um, and with the surprise, when it comes to love, romance, and relationship, many of you Cancerians, that the ones that I know uh, are intuitive, uh, intelligent, um, and however, and very devoted spiritually. Remember to remain devoted spiritually. Walk your talk. God bless you. That's my old dog. <laughs> oh, at the bottom of the deck before we even begin, Cancer. The money tree. The money tree. <laughs> Cancerians. What do the Cancerians need to know? that will be watching this video pertaining to love. Okay, you know what? Whatever happens is gonna be happening quickly. And this isn't, you know, I just heard the word somebody, um, is may, you may find out that you're gonna be a, a parent or a grandparent. And I just, I kept on hearing that. And this is where, you know, you may find out that you're gonna be a grandparent. <laughs> Or a parent got so God bless you and congratulations so this is where these cards are just they're sticking sticking together as they're falling out so this is a clearing up and a clearing out this is teas tonics tinctures uh, being outdoors more uh, I feel that it's like an unhealthy maybe you've been staying and maybe the weather it's been uh, very hot here however you still need some certain amount of fresh air and sunshine and this is just generally uh, there's a lot going to be going on love relationship and romance there's people coming and going you do have a, a somebody that maybe that they have a crush on you and they're gonna come forward with this I feel that this is a friend, and at the bottom of the deck, here's a ring, a ring of commitment. And this is where your devotion is going to have to come in mind in line with the divine. So you know whether, here's a Pisces at the bottom of the deck, uh, whether, whoops, this is karmic. This is a karmic relationship. Just, oh, and at the bottom of the deck, karmic. Look, no doubt in my mind. This is a karmic relationship between the Cancerian and the Pisces. Definitely karmic. Cancerians, what do they need to know as they watch this video pertaining to love, romance, and relationship? A mystery is going to come forward. You've been thinking about this. You've been wanting to know, and here it is. Cancer. Oh, and at the bottom of the deck, the pot of gold.
the pot of gold for the Cancerians at the bottom of the bottom of the deck. What do the Cancerians need to know that will be watching this video pertaining to love, romance, and relationship? Love, romance, and relationship. See, I hear the birds singing outside. There's something going on. There's love going on. There's the love birds going on. Oh, love birds. It's something that's not new. It's actually, with this coming at the bottom of the deck upside down, oh, look, here's the commitment ring. So something's going on. These could be just thoughts. Maybe you're hearing something. Love relationship Cancerians. I understand this does not apply to all the Cancerians out there, but it does apply to many of you. I, I do appreciate the kind comments, the, the private readings, um, the likes and the shares. Thank you so much. Oh, a tower moment at the bottom of the deck. This is in love, romance, and relationship. Things are going to be shaken up with you Cancerians. Yeah, major changes. There's that devotion again. Remain devoted because you're very intuitive and you're intellectual. And a healing is going to be taking place. So I feel for many of you Cancer, you've been deeply hurt, soulfully hurt when it comes to love and relationship. Soulfully hurt. Oh, here's the divine. It just arrives right in time, right? Yeah, a lot of thinking about this. Mm -hmm. This is a real hurdle for you to overcome. Yeah, but you know it's karmic as well. You know it's karmic. And it is a mountain. And it's your mountain to overcome here. And here's your healing. With this love, romance, and relationship, Cancerians. Again, I just see this rebirth, this birth. Let's go on with career finance. Cancerians. What's the Cancerians? I'm going to go ahead and put these cards back in the deck and really shuffle them up. What do the Cancerians need to know as they watch this video pertaining to career and finance? Career finance. Cancerians around the world. What do they need to know as they're watching this video? Cancerians, Cancerians. Uh, here it is. Career, finance, and abundance. You have friends and you have relatives. They're all standing by ready to help do whatever needs to be done. Career. Okay, let's just go with it. Cleaning it up. Clearing it out. Getting rid of more, getting rid of more, getting rid of more, getting rid, here's your money tree. Getting rid of more, getting rid of more. That's your money tree. Here's your anchor right here. And this isn't a bad anchor, this is a good anchor. This is you selling what you already have, liquidating assets. Bottom of the deck. It's divine, you know it's time. And you keep on, and here's the commitment. You need to stay committed to it this time. You know what, Cancerians? You've got this July 15th to the 31st. Yeah, there's some action. There's a surprise. There's a shock. But this is in love and relationship. And as this, you get used to it, and it could be a birth of a child or a grandchild that is really the shock. Um, but it's going to be a good thing because I see joy, the heart singing with joy. Uh, I feel that some of you may have found love. And this isn't somebody you just met. I feel this is somebody you've known before. Uh, this is deeply karmic. And um, as you move forward with this, you're growing and you're moving forward. Cancerians, if this resonated with you, Please click the like, share, and subscribe button. I'm realizing it's important. And if you would like a private reading, patrellasintuitiveinsights.com. And with that, thank you very much, Cancerians. God bless you.